begin with breaking news this afternoon. Authorities on the scene of a deadly shooting in Milwaukee in the Harambee neighborhood. Our Jermont Terry live near Buffum and Burleigh. Jermont, what do we know right now? Well, Carol, we just got the update about Milwaukee police. They have confirmed that a 26-year-old man was shot to death, and he was uh, here at Buffum. He was walking in the area with a young lady and two girls younger than 10 when shots rang out. Witnesses tell me that the individual was coming and that that couple was coming from this grocery store. But unfortunately, when they stepped outside, apparently someone opened fire, targeting that individual, killing the 26-year-old man. Now, police say this was a serious situation. Not only did they put that in that man's life at risk, but the woman and two young girls were in harm's way. Thankfully, they were not hurt. However, this um, the individual collapsed right next to a daycare um, where children were inside. We are told at this point no children were injured. I did get a chance to talk to the individual's uncle and also a woman who performed CPR about the events that led up out here today. He was walking. He's come out of the store, and they fired. They just unloaded on him. He was just—he was crying tears. Just remember, it was a fault. He's a neighborhood friend. He is a friend. And I tried everything I could. It could have been one of my kids, or my brother, or my nephew. Everybody on this block, they need to get along and put these guns down and stop all this killing that they do because it ain't worth it. Now back live here on Buffum, you can see that we are focusing on the daycare where children were inside. The individual collapsed right in between the daycare and the corner store, Bird Life Foods. That's where police are focusing their investigation. Again. A very sad situation with that 26-year-old being shot to death. I did talk to police, and they informed me that it appears that this individual was, in fact, targeted. But their concern, the fact that this individual, was the shooters, were simply with open fire with uh, children in the area and also walking with the man that uh, died out here. We do have a description of the man that they're looking for. They describe the person in his late 20s, a black male with shoulder-length dreads, and he was his last seen um, potentially leaving, off, leaving the area in a red, potentially Chevy with tinted windows. Police hope to have more information throughout the night, and we'll stay on top of the story here on Live at 5 and throughout TMJ4. For now, reporting live with breaking news at Birdland and Buffum, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Amazing to think somebody would just start shooting with so many people around Jermont. Thanks for the late update on that.